Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rondell here. On this video, I just discovered that uh, Facebook has um, released a new layout. Now, I don't know if everybody has access to this layout or if it's something that's being rolled out incrementally, but uh, you definitely want to give this new layout a shot uh, because it moves faster. And for specifically for those of you who post inside of Facebook groups, um, as many of you know, the, uh, the, the Facebook groups are always, uh, blocking you when you are trying to use some type of software. So, oops. So with them constantly blocking constantly blocking those tools you have to do this manually and if you do it manually you you stand to uh, your your Facebook um, your Facebook posts will probably last a lot longer without jeopardizing yourself being put in Facebook jail and all of that good stuff because you are posting in too many groups but you know, if it takes you 30 minutes to post in 10 groups, it's almost like a waste of time because, you know, posting in Facebook groups is not a highly effective method of generating uh, traffic. However, at least not if you're sending directly to your opportunity, it's not a highly effective method, which is why you guys can see I'm sending people to a blog post. And reason being is because Yes, I want them to look at the opportunity that I'm posting about, but most importantly, I want to be able to intercept some of those eyeballs and the people who are not interested in joining. I want to intercept them and get them to click on something else that may be on my blog. So, you know, if they are not interested in this opportunity, uh, I've got sidebars. I've got menus with different affiliate products and marketing tools that I use. You know, I'm I'm giving myself a much higher uh, probability of being able to convert some of this traffic into cash by um, by uh, using my blog post instead of my um, direct link to the opportunity. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So that's what you have to do to differentiate yourself from everybody else inside of the Facebook groups because everybody in this Facebook groups, all they want you to do is join their stuff, you know, and they're posting um they're posting uh links directly to their opportunity. So it's a linear it's a linear chance that they're going to um it's just a linear opportunity for them to to make money whereas when you send them to your blog you know they're going to see more than one thing and that opens up the door for you to have a chance to be able to uh, intercept some of those people who are going to leave your site because they aren't interested in the opportunity they might click on something else and that's part of the reason why I went on and added um I went on and added uh, uh, Google AdSense to my blog about two months ago is because, you know, I used to not believe in having Google AdSense on my blog because a large majority of the, the blog posts that I write, um, I want people to join the opportunity that I'm promoting in that blog post. If you have your, if you have your, um, if you have your, AdSense on your blog, then your Google AdSense could potentially distract a person to click away from your website who otherwise may have joined you in your opportunity, but because your website was so busy and it had so much stuff on it, they clicked away from your website never to return. So having AdSense on your blog is really... Um, you know it's up for debate it it kind of depends on the the content and the character of your blog you know if you have a blog where you're just writing a bunch of nonsense and you're talking about gossip or 
you know, things where you're not really selling a product, you're not selling an opportunity, then having Google AdSense on your blog is a must. But if your blog is more concentrated, like mine is, where I only really talk about opportunities, business opportunities, things that I sell, like affiliate marketing software and tools and things like that then having the google adsense on your blog could actually become a detriment to you getting no sales because you you're opening up the possibility for people to click away from your website but like i said in this particular instance doing it here on um doing it here on facebook groups it makes a lot more sense because i'm hiring the probability of me being able to uh, earn some type of money from the people who are going to my website and these uh, these Facebook groups they have a ton of people inside of them so it's up to you to make sure that you have a good photo obviously and if you if you write in a blog post you put that photo at the top of your blog post and it will populate that photo in here like this automatically so that's one less step that you have to take while you're posting in the groups because you don't have to um you don't have to also add an image because your image will be populated from within your blog post so you know sometimes you see the last few that I posted I wasn't writing anything I did that because I have a good picture here you know so and it's eye capturing picture at that so I don't necessarily need to write headlines you know but I went on and put one in there this time just for the sake of putting one in there but I've posted in a fair amount of groups and I've only been doing this for probably about 20 minutes now I'm probably up to about 30 groups that I've posted in so I'm gonna lay off now because if you get to the point where you're posting in too many groups too fast you can get your uh, uh, self put in Facebook jail for for overdoing it in the group so um, I'm gonna do three more and then after I do three more I'm going to call it quits. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that the fact that I'm not writing a headline is speeding up the the speed with which the 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 posts are being added to the groups, which means that it's probably a better idea for me to just go ahead and take the extra uh, 10, 15 seconds that it's going to take me to post the the headline uh, with my blog post so that I'm not moving as fast okay so I'm going to do this one once it populates I will write on top of this and I will just say two two thousand dollar commissions delivered straight to your mailbox interested all right so that's two and then like I said we're gonna do one more another way to increase your speed when you're doing this is you want to open in a new window every time you click on a new group by doing so it will leave the previous group that you clicked on highlighted that way you won't lose your spot so now when I come here and click on new click on new window um, it's kept my place and it's keeping me organized and most importantly it's not causing me to open up a gazillion tabs because the more tabs that you have open the slower your machine is going to start to run eventually so I do all the work you keep all the commissions I like to say he does because it's not me doing anything so let's put it like that all right, so put a little emoji in this one. Put a little fire emoji. Say, oh, this is hot, you know. <laughs> uh, give, give people the uh, fire emoji. This is hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click post on there. So now I'm going to go back to the home tab. So now I'm going to go back to my news feed. So this is how the layout is looking on the new platform 
um i actually enjoy this new platform uh because in all honesty i am not a big facebook marketer uh for many reasons but for some reason this new platform almost gives me the uh the uh impression that this is a, a whole new website you know like this is no longer facebook this is like this is a different platform that i just joined and it's got me a little bit more motivated to go ahead and use facebook um and you can change it from dark mode to day mode or whatever it is um i personally have it set to dark because i'm sitting in the dark right now and that's why I don't have my camera on because I didn't feel like setting it up. So if you watch this all the way to the end, you are a true MVP. And I uh, appreciate you watching. And hopefully you got a little bit of value out of this. I know um, a lot of people uh, uh, aren't using Facebook groups. And like I said before, the main reason that I never... Uh, post manually in the groups is because it takes too long but now that they cleaned up their platform it's definitely moving faster so if you've got some opportunities that you want to share uh, you should definitely be definitely be popping them into um, uh, some Facebook groups at least for 20 minutes a day or something like that just so that you can open up the, the possibility of you being able to get more leads and more sales for whatever it is that you're doing so uh i'm going to end it there and um you know be on the lookout for some more videos from me i kind of took march off as far as creating videos goes but you know it's time to uh to to get to work lots of people at home right now so people are going to be more there's going to be more people on on uh youtube there's going to be more people on social media and there's going to be more people searching for ways that they can work from home so you need to position yourself so i'm going to go ahead and end it here if you guys need any help you have any questions about what you saw just write it down in the comments if you're watching this on youtube um if you're looking for a way that you can start making some money from home during this uh, crazy time that we're in, make sure that you send me a message or you can go and check out my primary business, uh, which is uh, we get. Oh, shit. I almost gave you the wrong website is uh, watch me ASAP dot com. So you can go to watch me ASAP dot com. If you live in the United States or Canada, if you live outside of the United States or Canada, um, you can check out one of my secondary programs and I will be more than happy to send that information over to you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Thanks for watching you guys. I will see you on another video.